All right, so let's talk a little bit of a little bit of science. Placebos work. I mean, the placebo effect is real. And why is that? Well, it's due in very large part to the to the power of our beliefs and how the brain can affect functions of and perceptions from the body. And there's a lot that we can take away from this, whether you're a scientist, a doctor, a chemist, a patient, uh, or a health coach or personal trainer. What I take away from it is that belief matters. It does. And I'd go so far as to say that it is the most important thing as you look to start, uh, continue, or improve your healthy habits. Your can-do attitude should not be underestimated. In fact, I'd tell you that it's, it's a requirement. I mean, this is the key component in the very first of my 12 principles of healthy living. That principle is to believe, believe in yourself. Now, if you struggle with this, it, it may not be that you actually struggle with belief in yourself. It may be that you're choosing the wrong areas to focus on or to try to improve in. And the difference between overall self-confidence and what we call self-efficacy is that self-efficacy is the belief in your ability to do something in a specific area. For example, some people have no problem with regular exercise, but that, that same individual may struggle with healthy eating. That's high self-efficacy or belief when it comes to exercise, but, but low self-efficacy in the area of better nutrition. So how do we address that? Well, that's where another component of this belief principle comes in, and I'll actually get into that a little bit later this week. But if you're curious about how my action takers, the TD Fitness Monthly members, are able to use the power of belief to, to fuel their daily, their weekly, and their monthly habits, then head over to tdfitness.net forward slash take action to learn more. Thanks for listening. You all have a good week.